What's up beauties and welcome to today's video. So today we are doing something totally different. We are going to cook. So I received my very first Vox box from Influencer. So this is the Frank's Red Hot box. So you can see it right there. It comes with two products and we are actually going to use one of them today. So this is complimentary. If you don't already know what Influencer is, it is a website. You go on, you put a lot of reviews and you can be selected to test some products. Now you do have to, um, you do have to do a review. You have to write a review and you have to test the products yourself. So in good spirit of the spirit of that because my platform is YouTube I have decided that I am going to actually cook with this so this is the first product this is the Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Ranch seasoning this is the perfect blend of flavor and heat so you can use it really for anything so we are going to do a little bit of cooking and I cannot wait for you guys to see that so if you want to know what tasty treats I come up using this product then stick around and with a little bit of a disclaimer, there is a second product that did come in this Vox box. I have not used it yet and I'm going to de devote this to a second video. So let me know in the comments below if you are interested in seeing a video on me making this Frank's Red Hot Fiesta Bean Dip. So we are gonna go right into the cooking. And what's up guys? So the first thing we're gonna do with the Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Ranch seasoning is I'm going to add it to my chicken. So bear with my outfit, I'm sorry, I'm still in my bathing suit because that's the time of year it is and that's what we do here. So I have my chicken spread out and I'm just going to take a little bit of the seasoning and I'm just going to sprinkle it on. And I will be flipping the chicken so I'm going to wait until halfway through which I will try and get a video of when I am flipping it as long as I'm the one who's flipping it. So, and that's all we're really gonna do with the chicken for now. So I'm just gonna set it aside and we are going to prep the cauliflower. So first thing we're gonna do is I've already mixed up about a half a cup of, of about a half a cup of cream cheese and then the rest of this is sour cream. So it's almost a full container. I've just added a lot because I don't know how much I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add this to that and I'm gonna mix it up. So I don't want to add too much. So I'm going to mix it like this. It smells so good. Like seriously, I hope this is good. I really hope it's not like crazy. Because I have like an idea. I have a general idea of what I think this is going to be like. But you never really know when you're winging it like this. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I do know what I'm doing. I know how to cook. I just don't know what recipe I'm using. So I am going to add a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to add a little bit more. So... It comes out pretty slow just like that and I'm gonna mix it in mm. I can tell you already that I'm gonna have way too much of this sauce but that's okay because I will just set it put it in another container and I will use it for something else whether it be a dip or I don't know so now I'm gonna grab the cauliflower So I have already pre, um, I have steamed this cauliflower already. So the first thing I'm going to add is the sauce. So I was kind of like, because it's a buffalo ranch, I don't know, I was kind of feeling like a Tex messy, mexy vibe. So I'm just going to dump this onto the cauliflower, like so. And I'm just going to coat it completely. Mix it up. So I like to... Um, my cauliflower I like to pre-cook it before I bake it just so that it's not so crunchy but I also really don't want it to be too soft cauliflower is one of those it's just one of those things that's tricky now I love eating cauliflower we between Pat and I we really don't eat a lot of ugh, like potatoes we do like rice we just don't eat a lot of it. Um, so I like to substitute cauliflower a lot. A lot of the times the two of us just don't eat carbs at all. So it all just depends. So I am, that's all mixed in. I'm just going to add a little bit more because I do have quite a bit left. Sorry, the weird lights in here. Ooh, there you go. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in because why not? Because it smells so good. Alright, 
So as you can see, I have it coated now, so it's all in there. I'm going to now take, because I said I wanted kind of a Tex-Mex theme, I'm going to actually be adding cheese, corn, and black beans. So I'm just gonna take, this is just canned kernel corn. It's really easy to buy at the grocery store all the time. I'm not gonna use all of it. I'm just going to sprinkle it in. So I still have lots of corn. I have planned for this. I'm probably gonna make a salad with it. Um, and so there's the corn. I'm just gonna mix it up. Why is this sticking? That's weird. There's something sticky on the bottom of it. Okay, we're gonna get that off after. Oh, got it off now. So now I'm gonna take some black beans. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna take a handful. And I'm gonna mix it. I hope this is good. Whoop. I am gonna add a little bit more black beans and corn because it's just not enough. And now our final ingredient for this part of the meal is going to be shredded cheese. I'm gonna, I'm using the cost, this is the, from Costco. This is the Kirkland brand, it's awesome. I do want to rinse my hands. All right, that's going in the laundry. So I'm just gonna mix that up. Now I'm going to add the cheese. And I'm not measuring it because I don't do that. This is more or less just to try the Frank's Red Hot. This is not really to see my cooking skills because I don't have any. So I'm just sprinkling it in and I'm gonna mix it up. And then once it gets about halfway through, I'm actually going to coat it with more cheese. That's what I like. I'm not having any carbs, so I'm gonna gonna have cheese in it so that is what it looks like ready to go in the oven so I am going to turn you guys off for now and I will see you I'm gonna do a clip of this cooking and then you are going to get up to see us eat it so I'm really excited so stick around if you want to see what we think about this food that came in this box box from influencer Hi guys, and we are back. We are just getting ready to flip the chicken. So as you can see, my arm is sort of in the oven right now. So I have it here, and I am just going to switch hands. And that is that. I'm gonna mix up the cauliflower and I will see you when it is ready. Hi guys and welcome back. I am literally here in my bathing suit. I just finished cooking. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm seriously starving. I'm going to eat this now. So we have the chicken that is seasoned with the Frank's Red Hot Spicy Buffalo Ranch. And I also have my roasted cauliflower with cheese black beans, corn, and sour cream, and cream cheese with the Frank's Red Hot seasoning also mixed into it. I am super excited. I am going to try this on camera and tell you guys what I think. I know this is a very different type of video for me, so let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. So, nice yummy chicken. That is really good. It is not spicy like I kind of anticipated it might be. And there was lots of seasoning where I took that bite. So that's really good because I didn't want it to be too overpowering. 
I've tried this spice, the seasoning on popcorn before and I was really excited. So with that being said, let's try the cauliflower. So I'm just gonna, so that's it right there. It has the black beans, the cheese, there's so much cheese and it looks really hot. That is delicious. Delicious. So, I am going to finish eating this. I am going to clean myself up and then I will see you guys for my final results on what I think about this Frank's Red Hot Seasoning. So I'll see you guys soon. Welcome back beauties. I hope you enjoyed that cooking. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a recap on what I thought and how my dinner went. You got to see me eat it. I had the chicken and I seasoned it with this stuff. And then I also had my loaded cauliflower, which you saw me mix into the cream cheese and the sour cream. So with that being said, this didn't do what I expected it to do to the chicken. So I'm going to try a different thing and I will leave a pinned comment below once I get to do that. This is tasty. This stuff is good. As far as the chicken went, it didn't work the way I wanted it to, but in the cauliflower mixed up in all that stuff, it just gave the perfect amount of seasoning. Now, with that being said, I do think that if I were to mix this into like a shake and bake mix or maybe like a breadcrumb and then bread the chicken it would maybe give it a little bit more flavor it was honestly it was a little bit more bland than i expected but with that being said you live you learn i like this stuff and now that i've done this video i cannot wait to give you guys an update as i go through this i've tried this on popcorn before and it was awesome it's like it shows you can put it on fries you can put it on pizza you can put it on wings you can put it on veggies i'm gonna make some um roasted potatoes with this like i can't wait to use this more but i hope you guys enjoyed this i do enjoy this product i cannot wait to try the next product that i got from influencer which was this fiesta bean dip um it's coming up i hope you guys want to see a video for that now if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do that if you like this kind of kind of video and ring that notification bell so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this type of video it was different for me and i loved doing it and thank you influencer for sending me these products for me to test for you i will see you guys in my next video love yous